Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Revelations 14 and 12. So the thing is, is this, officer bringing out, hey, we must keep the faith in Jesus Christ, right? Bro, what's your name? You just walked up. Hakeem. Hakeem, what's your name, bro? T. T? T? All praise, I'm Abner. All right, nice to meet y'all brothers, man. All right, so we're going to get this real quick to show you what is required for you to get that kingdom. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Uh -huh. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So, y'all brothers grew up in the church? Yeah. Yeah. You grew up in the church yeah. and T, you did, right? Kind of, sort of, maybe went with auntie, grandma, mama, them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, same thing with you, right? Right. So that's, that's kind of what happened with me. You understand? A lot of our people. So the thing is, is this. Sometimes in Christianity, they tell you, hey, the commandments are done away with. The laws are done away with, right? But keep the faith in Jesus. What did this scripture just say? Now keep in mind, this is the New Testament. This is the last book of the Bible being explained by John. All right, go ahead, read that. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Now this is being explained by John, who was a disciple of Christ. He walked with Christ. All right, read. Here's the patience of the saints. Go ahead. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So we must keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Give me that in James. James 2, was that 24? Well, 18. Uh, faith by my works. All right. So the thing is, is this. We say, hey, I just believe in Jesus. Shout, I glory. You understand? And hey. Uh, uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You have something they say, they do the altar call, have you come down in front of the altar, just stand with your hands up and say, Jesus, 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 and you're going to get saved. But you was just in the, in, in the strip club the other night. You was just in the club up on the sister, bumping and grinding. You understand? When you leave church, you finna go get some favors from a sister. You understand? But you stand up there, Jesus, Jesus, hell, and it might be at the point she right there with you. You understand? But that's not your wife. You're not making her your wife. Y'all understand the hypocrisy? Let's go ahead and read that. James chapter 1, verse 22. Be ye. 1, uh, 18. 2, 18. You want 218? 2, 18. James chapter 2, verse 18. Uh -huh. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I, and I have works. All right, so the thing is, is this. A man may say, you might go in a Christian church and a man may say, hey, I got faith, brother. You just got to have faith of a mustard seed and all this crap, right? And the thing is, hey, I got that faith. But James said, and I have works, right? Read that. Read it Shoot. to the top. James chapter 2, verse 18. Go ahead. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works. Uh huh. So how can you show me your faith without your works? If you don't put in work towards what you believe, you're showing you really don't believe. Right? Read. And I will show thee my faith by my works. And by the works you do, that's how you show your faith. You understand? That's how you show your faith in Jesus the Christ. So for one, you have to do, you have to learn the commandments of God, right? So they went out with you being an Israelite. Did somebody explain it to you that you're an Israelite? Kind of, sort of? Kind of, sort of. What about you? Uh, Mod, right? Akeem. Akeem. All right, bro. I'm terrible with names. I apologize if I, if I butcher it a few times, all right? Every now and then. All right, all right. I, I, I try to keep it straight, all right? So, 
The thing is, is this. We must show our faith by our works. But the thing is, is this. We don't understand as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we are the children of Israel. We are the people of this book. That's this book was given and written to us. That's right. You understand? On how to govern ourselves. You understand? And how to deal with our brothers. You understand? So, let's read Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. Hit verse uh, 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Come on. And it shall come to pass. Come so this Bible, this is the voice of the Lord. This is how we hear God speak to us. Some people say, hey, I sat on my bed and God came and sat on, on the edge of my bed. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He left this record right here for you to hear him and to read his words. You understand? Go ahead. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, Go ahead. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So right now, Brother T, where are we as a nation of people? High above all nations of the earth. Right. Do you understand? Right. But we did. What about you, Akeem? What did that make you think of? Slavery, Slavery right? What about today? What does that make you think of today? You know, a lot of times we don't think about that, right? What about today? Today, right now, if somebody see you discipline your child, y'all got children? No? You do. All right, Akeem do, T don't. So the thing is, it's this. If you have children, you discipline your child, right? Because you're correcting them on the way that they need to go, right? You give them instruction, tell them what they need to do, they disobey, you discipline them, right? If somebody deems your discipline too hard, too harsh, you say you in the store or something like that, you pop them on the side, you understand? And then they say, oh, you shouldn't do that to your child. What can they do? They get on that phone, right? Okay. And they call, hey, they, 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 they put it on their phone, they call, they child protective services, they come and scoop your child up. And how long is it gonna take for you to get your child? You might not get them. You might not get your child back. You understand? So the thing is, is that today, these curses are still relevant to us. You understand? It's like even with our brothers, uh, 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 it's, uh, the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. It's like, hey, they'll deport the father and mother and the child stuck here. What happens? Now they go in the system. It's the same thing that's happened to us blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You understand? These curses follow us no matter where we are. All right, read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And our eyes are going to be failing. We're going to be crying, looking for our children, trying to get our children back. When you realize the system is against you, you're crying even the more. There's nothing that I can do to get my child back. Why can't I get my child back? Because you're the children of Israel. Because you disobey the Lord thy God. Because these curses are on you. And the way to get them off is to keep God's laws and commandments. That's right. We have to do this as a people. But the thing is, is this. Just like we don't like to listen to you, hey, one third of Israel going to make it. The other two thirds going to be cut off and die. So even you realizing that you Israel, that's more the reason to be like, you know what? Let me put these laws and commandments into action. Because if I stay in sin, I'm not exempt from the fire that's coming to this place. I'm not exempt from the bombs, the nuclear destruction that's coming to this place. Y'all understand that? All right, let's get, um, no, no, let's jump down, jump down to verse uh, 45, 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Go ahead. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee Go ahead. and shall pursue thee and Overtake thee Go ahead. till thou be destroyed. All right. So these curses are going to come upon us until we destroy it. What does that mean? That means we're not going to remember who we are. Right? right? We're not going to have no recollection of our customs. So, T, what are some of the customs of our people today? Our customs, historical, traditional customs as so called black people in America? What customs do we have? We don't have none, right? Hey, what laws do we have to govern ourselves? We ain't got nothing, right? That's why people, that's why our brothers can go out to the club, meet a sister, 
bang her, give her a baby, and then bounce. You understand? So, and not even give a damn about the child. That's a destroyed mind state. You don't realize that that's you. That's the posterity of your people, especially if it's a, it's a, if it's a prophet, a little boy. You understand? We don't understand that our, the laws of God are not in our minds. It's not in our hearts. That's our mind. We think the heart is here. No, the heart is here. This is your mind. This is what caused you to think, to move, to have feelings, functions. You understand? Go ahead. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God Come on. to keep his commandments Come on. and his statutes, uh -huh. which he commanded thee. Uh -huh. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So, T, you laughing. What'd you realize? What you was thinking about, bro? I was just thinking about how I've heard everything you're saying, mm -hmm. and that's it. Right? Yeah. 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 That's it, right? So you're realizing that you're Israel. These things happen to us as a people. But see, a king, what you got to realize, just like uh, you see that Walmart sign, that, wa that identifies that there's a Walmart here. So these curses happening to us as a people says that, hey, the people that these things happen to are the children of Israel. Now, Akeem, you might not have heard it. We're going to get verse 68. But T is realizing the different things that he that he's heard that, hey, this thing is true. This is us as a people. All right? Read that. Deut <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt means bondage, slavery. Okay? Most High God is going to bring us into Egypt again, slavery again. With ships. So, a king, how do we get here, man? What mode of transportation? Ships, right? That's where we came, right? We came here on slip, on cargo slave ships, right? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So you wouldn't see your homeland again and you will be sold unto your enemies when you get off the slave ship. The so-called Jewish men, when, when, when they went into the concentration camps on trains, were they sold to the Germans? No. Nope. 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 So there's no way we can be anti-Semitic when we are Shemitic people. That's right. right. We are the children of Israel. We are the real Jews of this earth. Right. You understand? We are God's jewelry. All right, get uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. But the thing is this, we have to realize, hey, we need to get our minds right. As we just identified, hey, we don't know our customs. We don't know our heritage. We don't know who we are. We don't know our laws that govern us. You understand? Our traditional garments, we don't know any of that. All the other nations have that, but we don't. That shows you we are destroyed people. Read that. The book of Acts, chapter 3. Verse 19. Come on. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. So we have to repent. We have to start keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments in the faith of Jesus Christ. Like we read in Revelations. You understand? That's what's there. You understand? Those are the two pieces of the puzzle. You have to realize, hey, we went to Deuteronomy 28 so you can realize that you're Israel. And then you must repent and be converted. Right. And that conversion takes time, right? Just like anything, you, you have a process to put something together, it takes time. Y'all will put together like a model car or something, you'll have the instructions there, right? But you have to follow the instructions, you paint it, you put it together, it doesn't happen like that. It's over a course of time. Read it again. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Come on. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, uh -huh. that your sins may be blotted out. Uh -huh. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So, so that your sins may be blotted out. So you don't get part of that death when Christ comes to restore everything here on earth. That's right. You understand right. that? Christ is coming to restore this place to the original state. It's not to dwell uh, peaceably with the so-called white man that's in power now. It's to set things in order to restore the earth right. and to restore his people to their natural state. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.